One of the ways in which we can run into some issues when we're looking at printing is through under extrusion, okay? Or the material not coming out of the nozzle as we'd expect. Now, this could be a number of different reasons behind it. So the first one could be that we haven't let the material come all the way out to the nozzle when we've done the load. The good news is that's so straightforward to fix. Then what we could do is look at maybe, is the material tangled up on the back of the spool? And let's just have a quick look around the back of the machine and make sure that it's all running smoothly and everything's feeding through as we expect. The other way that we could look at having this kind of issue is if we've gone from a hot material to a colder material, or maybe we've just not cleaned the nozzle out for three, four, five months, whatever it may be. So what we do is if we find out that we've checked the material's looking okay and it's feeding through as we'd expect, it would probably be, probably worth looking at cleaning out the nozzle. Okay, we've covered that in one of the other videos, which you can find a link to, and what that'll do is that'll talk you through that step-by-step, -step, doing a hot pull and a cold pull to make sure that all that's then resolved for you. Sometimes a hot pull and a cold pull might solve the problem, but there's other times it might need a little bit more care and attention, which can come down to something that's been chewed up within the feeder. So, okay, your nozzle's clean, but your material can't find its way through because it's slipping within the feeder. So we might have to also do a feeder clean, which again, we have another link to that, which can sort you through that step-by-step -step and make sure that you follow that sequentially. And there's no issues with getting all those things back together. The only other way in which that we could have a problem with this is we might need to change the nozzle, just in case that it's beyond a stage in which, which we can unblock it. Or finally, there could be something a little bit more sinister, whether it be a temperature sensor, heat the cartridge, or maybe even a little coupler inside the hot end. If we feel like we're getting to that stage, then that's where you need to reach out to the support team and we can arrange a service or even get in the parts to you so that we can get this machine back up and running and under extrusion then becomes a very painful thing of the past.